Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Closet Check. If you're new around these parts, and Closet Check is where I highlight different pieces and collections from my closet. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and go ahead and hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos that I post. Now we're just getting started with 2024. I hope everybody's having an amazing new year. And I thought we would go ahead and start off this year with a look at some of the most classic pieces that Chrome Hearts has. First off, let's rewind the clock a little bit. Uh, it's the early 2000s. Um, a young D-Bow is listening to punk rock, getting into melodic hardcore, and I'll be very honest, I was a Hot Topic kid. Hot Topic had anything and everything that a little scene kid like me <laughs> uh, could ever want uh, from you know different band tees and I'd be stopping in to see if they had my favorite band or a new one that I just discovered if they have a tee of theirs. Um, things like studded belts and then also they had wallet chains. So yes, I was definitely that kid in the early 2000s who had a wallet chain. I did not wear the UFO pants, but you know, with the dickies that I had and the band tees that I had, and you know, I thought I was the coolest kid ever. <laughs> and it's a funny thing to now fast forward uh, because I've actually joked with some people that in some ways, to be perfectly honest, Chrome Hearts is the hot topic for now and you know, for a much higher budget <laughs> than, uh, than Hot Topic is. And so with that, today we're gonna talk about Chrome Hearts wallet chains. And so um, I'm fortunate enough to have a couple of interesting ones to be able to show. And actually between the two of them and between a couple of the other things that I have, I'm gonna be able to highlight a bunch of the specifics and differences that a lot of the different models that Chrome Hearts makes has. Let's go ahead and just get started. We'll go ahead and start with one of the most classic pieces that Chrome Hearts has, and this is the fancy link wallet chain and so you can tell that this is a fancy link because every other link here has the extra embellishment with the pluses and crosses sort of added to them and so with this general design there's three different models there's the classic link which has every single link is just with the the smooth style here this one here is the fancy where every other one has the embellishment and then there's the extra fancy link that has every single one of the links has the extra embellishments on it. And so this particular one, uh, there's two additional specifics about it. The first one is that it has two lobster clasps. And so you can see here the lobster clasps that are at the ends and they're spring loaded mechanism to be able to open and close. So this particular one has it on both ends and the other aspect about this, you know, from a definition standpoint, is that this is the long version. So generally speaking, the different wallet chains that Chrome Hearts makes and sells directly out of the factory come in two lengths, either short or long. Sometimes, you know, there's different lengths that, that they pop up in as well. And actually, I'm pretty sure that, you know, people have been able to custom order specific lengths in the past as well. But this specific one, this is the long version of the Fancy Link, and it has about 33 links all the way across it. And so the other thing is that the short versus long is different for each of the different models that they make. And so, you know, the long version of the classic or the fancy link like this is not gonna be exactly the same length as say the long of the crossball version of the wallet chain. But yeah, this one is just, a, again, a super classic piece from Chrome Hearts. So this here is the second wallet chain that I have from Chrome Hearts and it's the CH Plus. Now, obviously with it being the CH Plus, it has a very different link style than my fancy link does. So this one has all CH Pluses all the way down. And the really cool thing about this is, hopefully you can kind of pick it up, is really how hefty and how thick each one of these individual links is. It's a really, really cool chain. And so the other two aspects about this that are different is that you'll notice that this one only has a single lobster clasp. So it just has the one that's here. So when you get a single lobster clasp, it means that the other end is going to have this silver S hook. And so this S hook is, because it's silver, it's bendable. So I have it actually bent open right now uh, so that you can actually put it onto something a little bit later. But then that basically shows you the different mechanism and different piece of that there, where the lobster class has a spring-loaded mechanism for opening and closing. The S hook, you have to actually bend it open and close every single time that you want to deal with it. So obviously that means that, you know, the amount of wear that the S hook can go through 
is far, far, far less uh, than the, the lobster class was able to go through. And so there's actually part of me that wants to get this replaced with the lobster class at some point. So the other difference about this one is that this is actually the short version of this wallet chain. And so it has 11 links of those CH pluses going all the way up and down. And again, as I mentioned, the short length of this one doesn't mean it's gonna be the same as the short length of the fancy link or the classic, they're just sort of different because of the, the, the different link counts and also the sizes of the links. Obviously, this style of link is very, very different than my fancy link one. Okay, so those are the two chains themselves. Let's now take a look at how they connect to wallets with the different styles. So these are the two wallets I'm gonna be showing for this here. And so this one here, this is my baby bank robber wallet. And then this one is a card case. So the baby bank robber, it does not have a grommet on it, but it does have this tiny little, it's gonna be kind of hard for it to show up here, has a little leather loop that's on the spine where you can connect a wallet chain to versus the card case here has the grommet in the corner already ready to go. Okay, so first we're gonna take a look at the S hook and how this connects to both styles. So again, I already went ahead and I opened up the S hook a little bit here. And it's really just a matter of hooking in the hook here to the leather loop that is on the wallet there. And so once you put it on, then it's a matter of bending it back so that it's closed. And so then it, at that point it won't then come off and now you have a secure connection to the wallet. So you can obviously also take the S hook and you can connect it into the grommet on the other style as well. In order to get it through this one, you have to open this up quite a bit to be able to fit it around the leather and get it through. But again, once you do, then you just bend it back shut and then you have a nice and secure connection for the wallet. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the lobster clasp and how this works with the wallets. And so actually this one does work with this tiny little loop. Loop is actually has a little bit more clearance than it seems. So standard way, open up the lobster clasp, feed it through the loop, get it closed. And then again, you have a connection right then and there. And then to round things out, let's go ahead. We'll put the lobster clasp onto the grommet of the card case and pretty straightforward in terms of how that connects there. Now let's talk about a few of the different ways that you can connect these wallet chains to Chrome Hearts pants, and in particular, the five pocket model that Chrome Hearts makes. So there's really three different things that you can do. First off is that the five pocket model actually has little loops already built in around the waistband in a few places that you can hook the wallet chain to. So that's one. The second one is what I see a lot of people do is hooking it directly onto one of the belt loops themselves. And then the third is taking a leather belt loop that actually wraps around the belt and then connecting the chain to that instead. And so first off here, we'll go ahead and connect it to the little loops. So you can see that once it's in, it's on this tiny little loop that's built into the pant itself. So it can connect to the front side there. And then there's also one that's on the back as well. Or you can go ahead and put one side directly onto the loop on the pant, and then the other connect to the wallet so that when you put it inside the pocket, then you have it basically laying a little bit lower than that back loop. So on body here, you can see with the long fancy link connected directly to the built in loop that are on these five pockets here and put onto the card case, hanging it from the back pocket. And that's the sort of look that it gets. So again, the second way that I see a lot of people do this, especially when they're wearing it on their Levi's that don't have the built-in loop um, added to the waistband, is they just put it on the regular belt loop itself. When you have a position directly on the belt loop here, the, really the only way that this is gonna work out is if you actually have it connected to a wallet. Putting it on, you know, the side loop here, you know, makes it too close. And then the back loops of the pants are also a little bit too far. So you really have to connect it this way for it to work out. Another alternate way that's possible for this is you can connect directly to one of the back belt loops, and then you can put your wallet in the front pocket. So you get a similar look, but just, just reversing the way around where the wallet is. 
The last main way that you can do this is you can connect directly to different belt loops that you then put onto your belt themselves. And so I have two here. This one I've shown before on my channel. This is just a Lewis Leathers one that I was able to pick up in Japan. But this other one here is a pretty cool one from Chrome Hearts. It's really just a weird piece. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a key case in a way. It has like one loop over the top and then it has these two rings um, that are part of it here. So you can like put a key on one, you can kind of protect it and hide it. But I honestly just throw my wallet chains onto this one. So this is actually the main way that I wear my wallet chains together. And so because the key case has the two rings that are on it, I connect both lobster clasps for the two chains onto it there. And then the other end, I connect the lobster clasp of the fancy link and the S hook of the CH plus to be able to basically stack them both together. So the other thing I like about doing it this way is that these loops give extra length in a way. So you can see that the two chains are hanging much, much lower. Usually they're again be connected either at the belt loop here or at the built-in one that's there, but they're hanging much, much lower from there. And then it's basically secured on the backside with the other belt loop that I have. So again, this here, this is the main way that I wear it and where I have them on these belt loops so you get a lower drop. Again, this clasp here would actually be hanging much, much higher, but with the two loops done this way, you get a much lower drop. All right, that just about does it for this video. Hopefully that was a cool look at some of the differences of wallet chains that Chrome Hearts makes and different ways you can connect them to their different pieces and style them together. And again, there's the little scene kid in me from the early 2000s that's super, super stoked that here in 2024, that I have some of the most badass wallet chains to be able to wear with my outfits. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll catch you next time.